one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1991 Oldsmobile 98 touring sedan now the touring sedans are a special treat these are a very rare car you don't see many of them I, I knew at one point I heard a number of what they made I've seen it printed somewhere on the internet but I don't have that link anymore right in front of me um, they're very rare cars they have a really nice sporty upgraded interior uh, very sporty for an Oldsmobile they come with the uh, tachometer in the dash and the whole deal um, kind of rare for an Olds very nice I call it my baby Fleetwood um, it's got that Cadillac Fleetwood styling as such and it's the bigger of the Oldsmobiles but you got the nice economical 3800 in it and this is a great running little car um, one owner on this I love a one and two owner automobile you know they always seem to care for them better when you buy it brand new and pay the big money for it you happen to probably take care of it a little better I think just kind of the way it goes so now they're like it it's a beautiful car my name is Nathan it's 406 544 6919 you can reach me anytime and my website is www.oneownercarguy.com and you can check that out on there on the internet. I'm going to go up close and show you any minor flaws here. Kind of do a walk around and show you anything that is out of place. It's real easy to stand back over here and be like, oh yeah, it's beautiful and take a real quick picture. Um, look for your best kind of come in and say, okay, we're going to do it and take this picture just like that and make it perfect. Well, I'm going to get up close and show you everything that's possibly wrong with it. Uh, it's just the way I like to do it. So, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Low mile car, I'll let you know all that when I get inside. I've got a couple hundred cars here, so I kind of lose track. A um, little bit of dust and such, but that's about the worst that can be said right now. Everything, a little beeswax on it there. Tiny chip right there, just tiny. And this piece of trim right here is missing. And if you look right here, you'll see the other trim. A um, few rock chips in the front that you can see. You got to get right up on it. When I try to show anything like that, um, just a couple little chips. The bumper and everything looks great. The lights are in great condition underneath the car let me get down here underneath the car is in great shape I think you get a bucket of paint on the highway you can see that big crush flat there but you can also see how clean the seals and everything here is I inject your uh, brake hydraulic pump from the bottom and all I try to climb up here and show you all this it's a clean California car I love a clean California car like this it's a guy guy takes care of, you know, these wheels are a very rare item. Wheel wells are very clean. My low level light adjustment takes a second there. Um, four. Hands on it. Clean as it gets. Yeah, he hit a bucket of paint on the highway. You can see it. Not a bucket. You should make it a bucket. Definitely hit a can or something of it though. And beautiful car. A little bit of light wear on the color right there. Just right along that edge. And the factory spoiler and oh haha. Uh -huh. That factory piece is right there. It's not a hundred percent. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's flipped across. Oh right there. This piece right here. It has an extra little clip tucked up like that so it holds it it's nice and tight but it could use one of them little plastic clips ah, readjust the oh there you go that screw right there is for adjustment and you can adjust your fog lights there touring edition or a touring sedan very very straight um, as far as door dings there's a couple tiny dings Right there, and you can hardly see anything. And 
might be a little tiny one right there. I gotta show you the seat just real quick. We're gonna go down underneath the underneath part here in a second. I'll show you all that. Beautiful condition. Small ding right here. Yeah, you can see that. Light fading across that piece. As you can see, and a crack right there. That's my dealer place. California car. I've been driving it around, and it drives great. I want to say 104, 105,000 original miles. Um, yeah, that's about all there is to talk about. The light, teeny scratches right there. I hope you can even see that in the lighting. And a small scuff right around that piece. About all there is to talk about. Oh, a ding right there. Dings. Small ding there. And that's about all there is to see on this thing. It's a super clean car. There's a scratch right there on the mirror. And a little on the side there. Roof's in great condition. Whoever had this kept it inside. And it is hard to believe it's a 91. Small scratch right there. Okay. Well, that's your once around, your twice around, your all around, around, around. I'm going to go around now and take it around the block, take a test drive, and then I'll go ahead and pull down underneath. Somebody's calling to buy it right now. 406 544 6919 to where you got a fighting chance that you can call up here. It's www.oneownercarguy.com and you can check out my site there and see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. Um, over 600 videos on this channel. You can just check out my other videos too. And make sure to subscribe. I have lots of one and two owner cars. I sell them cheap. And that's all there is to it. beautiful car. Try to get it out of the sun here and show you the options. Good afternoon, it'll say. Wednesday, March 7th. Fuel range low. Very low too. I'm gonna restart this and see if it. I love a car like this with a tachometer. It's awesome. This do oh power on the stereo here. That all works. And here we go. Weird the way that lane dumps into another one there. I want to give it a good. I mean, man, this thing gets up and goes. And to still get high 20s, 27, 29, 30 miles a gallon and something, it's just amazing. Ooh, a little 300E. God, it's a nice car. Any questions, once again, it's Nathan, 406-544-6919. And there is so many options on this car. I see if my low-level light adjustment will adjust to where you can see that. And it is genuine, handcrafted Burlwood. Burlwood? Yes, sir. Splash water all over my car, man. I got water going all down the middle here. All right. 
www.oneownercarguy.com. You can reach me absolutely anytime. I like this place right here to take my interior. And all your steering wheel controls. Oh, there's a 105, 462. Um, you can see there, there's data and information. And I don't know how this works. How does this work? Oh, there we go. So, lots of little ones on there. And that one there has a busted out light cover. You are missing your little piece here that's for the, um, for the cup holders. And a 91? That's high class, dude. They didn't have that 91. Oh, that ain't never been used. They ain't got no foul smells or nothing. <clears throat> this car in great condition. The door panels are in great condition. This piece right here, it's a little red lens, and I'll show you on the other one. You can kind of see it over there. Is missing. You can see my footprints are about the only wear in here. And there's just a little dust on the pads. There's no wear, hardly any wear whatsoever. Gotta get old with the ding ding ding. Pretty nice center console. Not a common thing in a luxury sedan like this. And this is tight as can be right here, too. Wow. All kinds of lumbarish type lumbar recliner stuff. Um, like I say, all your controls here. This one here has a piece of tape on it, and it isn't all that loose, but it is a little loose. And he just got it on there and taped that, and it's perfect. It doesn't come off, and it's where it is, and it does the trick but a guy made it buy a new button at some point. Headliner is in beautiful shape. This one. Oh! And how do you do this? Oh, it was... It had the glue. There we go. And this piece would go underneath that, and that would hold it up. So, all that's in great shape. I'll put that on there. I'm done here. I don't know if you've seen that while I was driving. I used to get these all lined out beforehand, and I haven't been up to snuff on that lately. Wow, I like how that works. Oh, and it's got the dimmer one, so you can go dimmer and not dimmer. Oh, that's cool. Um, this dimmer switch is behind there. It fell in a little bit. I don't know why. So you're stuck on dim there. Oh, it's loose back there. So a guy has to turn it up like that. So that's the deal on that. Nothing. Serious wrong with what the heck? Airbags and such. In in '91, um, seat heaters, um, all power, everything, which all works. Auto window down. I mean, I'm here to tell you, this is some big options for uh, 1991. This maroonish red leather interior is in just beautiful shape. Beautiful. Like I say, it doesn't even look like the guy sat in his back seat. Well, maybe he did. It doesn't look like anybody did. Headrests on them. All embroidered. Mm 
This is a nice car. Oh wow, and you can actually turn these on from back here. Huh, cool. Got the coat hooks and all up there. Yeah, this is a nice car. Tightly stitched there. You can tell just how nice this car is. Um, I've got that one right there. Um, and a guy should glue it. See, they get the end chipped off right there. And that causes them to not stay in. Let's see, that one's taped. So, why are we only up front? And I could glue it, um, but then it might fall out and then you'd be unhappy because it was glued. And I want you to glue it to where you can see what's wrong with it and all. Um, truthfully, a guy could buy three new lights relatively cheap online and get them replaced where you don't have to use no glue or nothing like that. This thing is beautiful back here. Everything's in great shape. Um, there's your wheel lock key, all back here. And underneath here, everything's in great shape. Other than that, can't think of anything else to show you on this car. Um, I'll show you around the other side, inside. Man, they're calling again. It might have been you. It could be you. I hope I didn't just lock the keys in this car. I think I might have. Well, that'll fix that. You just drop it on the ground and tell you what, everybody goes away. <laughs> Shut that thing up right now, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to lay these books out in the trunk. my key in there the right way. Great condition. Set all the color manual and all. I'll leave that back here so I can take some pictures. Auto sunk truck Blah, blah, blah. Auto trunk suck. One more time. Auto trunk suck down. There you go. I know that's not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Huh. Beautiful car. You're looking for something clean, nice, good running, high gas mileage, powerful. Quit looking. Stop it. Just come by this one. It is what you're looking for. It is fully loaded, and this is a car that'll love you a long time, for sure. Carpets are like new. The car is beautiful. That's all there is to say about it. I'm not going to say high, low butt heaters. Let me get the little open over here. I like how they still had wing windows, or smoker's windows in these years. There we go. One of the best motors ever made. I call it the 350 of V6s. Or the, yeah. I mean, they just ultra reliable, just good little powerhouses. This thing is so clean. It is one of the nicest, cleanest 3800s I've ever had. And not only that, it's the one you want. I think later on it's basically what became the LSS. I'm not 100%. You're into codes and stuff. And here's stickers. Once again, my name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. I want to go up and show you this thing out of the shadows now, where you can see it in all its glory. And then I'll go ahead and take the pictures inside and all that. And you 
to get this thing listed. If there's anything I can tell you about it, uh, feel free to give me a call. I'd love to help you out and get you going on it. <laughs> you put your foot down on this bad boy too. I think it's trying to turn my, oh, it's low fuel range. I think it's trying to turn my, it does have Twilight Sentinel, wow. You don't get a car like this very often. It's got the, oop, sorry about that, Twilight Sentinel to where you can set them to come on at certain speeds. Man, I tell you, it's like a cockpit in here. You got everything, and with that tachometer, like I say, it's very, it's sporty for um, oval wheel. Well, that's about all I can tell you about it. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely any time. And other than that, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check out my website there and call with any questions. I do a lot of one and two owner rigs, cars, trucks, SUVs. You name it, um, and low mile stuff. Low mile stuff like this is what we do. But that's about all I know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and call me anytime. Import, export, I will send this thing anywhere you want. Doesn't matter what country, city, state, whatever, we'll get it to you.